good news, uh, as we hoped. Apparently, two things, right? Oh, the reason the check engine light was on was because apparently uh, an oxygen sensor has got a problem. Now that doesn't mean I don't have any oxygen in the car, it has to do with the oxygen going into the combustion of the engine. So they said that's not a biggie at all, not to worry about it, and they'll do it sort of when I get back sometime and it's something I can drive in and wait for. So that's good news. Now the other thing that was showing up uh, isn't a problem either. So the good news is we're good to go. And I think the truth is it's a bit like getting older. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have things go wrong and you will be more sensitive to them going wrong. If, In other words, just because my car is older, right, I am pretty sensitive to the fact that um, yeah, it's time for things to start having a problem. And it would be quite normal for things to be having a problem. So, to me, it is just like the same way as the fact that I have, uh, you know, had the blood vessel burst in my eye. Uh, obviously, that's something that people, including myself, you know, you worry about. Oh, that's a pretty car. It's a Thunderbird. Uh, it's like a seafoam blue rather than a seafoam green. That is a pretty color. And it's got white wall rims uh, on the tires. When did you last see that? So it's like a brand new... Thunderbird made to look like a 50s Thunderbird. Very nice. I could do with one of those. No, 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 I'm happy. So, and now apparently it's important, and I don't know why, maybe I'll find out, um, that because I've come this far across along the borderline, if you like, um, I'm now going to go straight down this road and straight to the border, which is the truck stop at uh, the truck crossing. Well, so far so good. We are now at the duty free, so I'm just going to have a quick uh, washroom break, pick up some wine and some salmon to take down to Benji and Judy. I've got uh, presents for the kids with me already, so that's awesome. Wow, that's amazing. I'm at the border, and this is Black Friday, and there's maybe a half hour wait, I would think, by the look of the traffic here. This is nothing. This would be normal. So what on earth happened to the Black Friday shoppers? I hear it was busy yesterday which wasn't Black Friday, so a lot of people went down early, but I think they probably went down early to miss the Black Friday traffic. But apparently it was insane yesterday, and today, look at it. Next to nothing. Yay. Well, we had just a little bit of excitement at the border. Um, I was chit-chatting to the border guard, which is unusual. They don't normally chit-chat, but this one decided to um, ask me about the camera. Why right? they got a camera in the car? And I said, because I'm a YouTuber, and he looked at me and said, seriously? And I said, yeah, seriously. And then we got on to the discussion about Benji and Judy, because, you know, that's where I'm going. And uh, I, he, he said, who got me into it? And I said, the people I'm just going to visit. <laughs> 
So anyway, while we're having this little fun interlude, he then, suddenly to my right, a guy does something wrong at the checkpoint, customs, I don't know what you call it, border thing. And you've got border guards screaming at him. running towards him because he'd gone through <laughs> so I said to the, the border guard that I was talking to should I duck <laughs> he said duck why I said because you never know who's got a gun these days and he said actually you're right tell you what if I pull my gun duck I went okay <laughs> but you know he held on to my passport so I didn't get so I didn't leave which was clever he said, no, that's why I held on to your passport, because I didn't want you getting caught up on that. What a nice guy. Anyway, so then here I am thinking, oh, that's good. The gods are smiling on me today. I'm good to go. I'm through the border far faster than I thought I was going to be. And then I went to go towards Blaine which is the town just the other side of the border, to pick up gas. And just as I'm about to take a corner, suddenly I've got cop cars with lights blaring, and I'm thinking they go there after me. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? So I pull over as fast as I could, which took a little bit of doing, because I was in the middle of an intersection when it happened. And right in front of me, the, I couldn't go. It was a no no go zone and yeah, it was very confusing anyway um <laughs> so eventually i pulled over and luckily they screamed by Phew. um so then <laughs> no, that was two <laughs> and now i don't know about the rest of you but i'm thinking it comes in threes you know so never mind i, I go and fill up on gas and i'm busy chit-chatting to the guy another fellow canuck who is um filling up with gas as well and we're both talking about how little traffic there is and apparently the Black Friday people came through last night and or else the internet has killed Black Friday as we know it uh, in terms of crossing the border and plus our Canadian dollar has killed it as well because you know the Canadian dollar is really bad at the moment against the American dollar. Actually, I was just thinking how much I just put in my gas tank. Anyway, I'll work that out in the next moment, I'm thinking. Anyway, so I'm ch chatting to the guy at the gas station. We're both filling up. That's fine. So he tells me, go down to the bottom here. You know, hang a left. You'll be back on the highway again. So I said, oh, thank you. Because I was at a gas station sort of away from where I would normally go. So that's fine. So I pull away from the gas station and I go down towards where he told me to and then I see the sign entrance to the freeway so I hang a lift, which is what he sort of said. And suddenly I've got a car behind me blasting his horn like, where the do you think you're going? And I realize I had turned left on a roundabout. <laughs> there are times when being white-haired is useful. I mean, not only was that a female driver, but it's a white-haired female driver, you know, the worst of the worst, I'm sure. Um, but anyway, so I just sort of threw my hands up and I actually drove, uh, it, was, it was a very low roundabout, I actually drove onto the roundabout and then to where I wanted to go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, so that's three, we're done. Uh, actually, it's four if you count the car thing. <laughs> I've had enough for one day. No, I haven't. Well, I just stopped here for a quick uh, break. And I just wanted to show you. It is... Let me just check my watch here. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. And that will give you some idea of how cold it is here at the moment. Yeah, 
sometimes Benji pays me the greatest compliments you can imagine. Um, I just arrived and we said hello to the children and Judy and everybody. And he's taking me out to lunch, which I thought was a bit strange because we don't normally do that. But the reason he's taken me out to lunch is because he's doing something really special for Judy. And we're sitting here at lunch looking like a married couple because here he is. <laughs> Busy writing a love letter to Judy that's going to go with the flowers he's going to send her that actually he's already arranged. That we, we've already done that. But I have tears in my eyes as I'm telling you this because, you know, I always say to you, the, the people you think you know, they're, they're even better than you know. And this is just such a cute love story. And I'm certain a lot of you are just going, oh. So what's going to happen is the flowers are going to arrive and then the flowers are going to direct Judy to where the love letter is. So I just think it's magical. And for those of you who are romantics, which would be 99.9% .9 of my viewers, I knew you'd love to see this. I asked Benji's permission to just show him working away. I just think it's awesome. You guys would enjoy having a look at this tree. Isn't it beautiful? It's beginning to look a whole lot like Christmas. Ah, uh, thank you, Mia. Good girl. Very good. Say thank you, Kira. Thank you. No, to your sister. Say it to Mia. Thank you, Mia. That is so darn cute. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you soon.